Molly K. Hope everybody is well. I don't know why my computer does not like this particular site, but I want to share this story with you quickly as possible. Um, it is about Uber. Uber is launching a verified rider program in Atlanta. They're also doing it in other black cities, which I find very interesting. But anyway, Uber announced Thursday that it is launching its rider verification pilot program in Atlanta which will help confirm that Uber riders who are who they say they are and give drivers additional peace of mind. Now, for all these years, if, you don't, if you've never used Uber, you, when you register, you got to put a picture up. If you're a driver, you know, if you're a user, if you're a rider, if you're a driver, you got to upload all your, this information. You got to give them your DMV number, tell them about the make and model of your car, um, show them a picture so they can see it's not all dented up, um, you have to have a picture of yourself so that when you arrive, whoever your rider is will know what you look like and know what your car to look like. Um, when you ride, you're asked to rate your ride and rate your driver. And so you can leave a review. You can leave stars. So we had a verification system that worked. It worked well. I've never had any issues. If I If a driver came and something was off with the Uber, I didn't get in the car, or if, if it was supposed to be a man and a woman was driving, um, most times I saw that in large places they had a large Hispanic population, or you know there was some some sh shady, shifty stuff going on. I didn't do it because a lot of times um, in these uh, places where there were a lot of not black and not white people, I'll say that. Um, different people would come pick you up because they'd be trying to hustle and help their folks out. Um, but I didn't take those rides. So there was a safety mechanism already in place. And I never had any issues with Uber or safety or trust because it was just, it was already set up. But it was also collecting our information. So now they have come up with a new way to collect more information and test out more things and sell it to us as trust and a peace of mind. Um, but the thing to note is that it, it, it's a social engineering because it's making you feel like you, if you're not verified, there's something wrong with you. And if you're not verified in the, in the way that they tell you um, that it's appropriate, then you can be ostracized. So a driver may refuse to do business with you because you don't have that check. But your checking account is linked to that Uber account and the money going to come out. Otherwise, you wouldn't have even call the Uber because you didn't have no money to pay for it. Um, but they want to sell you on this verification badge, the type of thing that they do on social media, because it's a part of social engineering. It makes people think that if this person has a check, they've been verified in a way that the system says they should be verified and so they should be trusted and are legitimate. So we need to re rethink how we think those things because, you know, like me, I don't have no check by nothing. I ain't getting no check. I'm not doing all that stuff. I don't care. You either believe what I say or not. And that's why one of the reasons why when I talk, I try to give you information um, and then let you do your own research by including the links. You know, some people will bring you stories and just talk, 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 talk for hours. They don't give you nothing. You can't hardly see their screen, and then and then they don't give you a link so you can go look for yourself. So um, I don't like to do that. That annoys me um, because it doesn't encourage people to do their own research. It encourages our people in particular to trust the person that's giving the information and that's something that one should do you should not be out here trusting folks um not especially not in this hour folks ought to give you the opportunity to do your own research and look to verify and um even check us so um i don't do that but this whole check thing is social engineering and it's a way it's a tool that they're going to use to keep people from doing business and providing services to uh, folks who opt out of the system. So uh, if you decide that you're not going to participate in the bio sale 
system, they'll know because you're going to have some, there's going to be some mark that you're going to have. And this is a part of that system. There's going to be more way, more ways that you're marked. You're going to have a physical mark and then you're going to um, also be marked by your actions or your behavior. So when you don't behave the way that they want you to do, you will be marked if you uh, don't do what they want you to do, you'll have the seal, which is the seal of the most high. So our behavior is really important. We gotta watch, we gotta watch our movements during these last hours. So anyway, um, Uber announced Thursday is launching a rider verification pilot in which um, in Atlanta, in which Uber is gonna help you verify folks and you're going to be safe the feature will be activated today april the 18th according to uber only some drivers and riders will initially see the feature as it launches and that all riders and drivers will see this feature in their app in the coming weeks um the site has so much trash on it advertisements it's slowing down the page. I'm sorry. So it says this program is also being rolled out in other cities, including at least Chicago, according to local reports there. According to a release from the company, the verified program will include a blue check mark, the social engineering piece, social credit score piece, style verified badge for rider profiles that will be visible on their accounts. Drivers will be able to see whether a rider is verified or when deciding um, ooh, just went so fast. or when deciding whether to accept a trip. So the rider, the, the rider won't know if the, the driver will have the option of picking up somebody based on whether or not they have a check by their name. Like, I don't, I don't understand what the check's supposed to do. The, the, it's not going to tell you whether the person is a demon when they get in your car. You could be a verified demon. You could be a verified crook. You could be a verified child molester. What is that check going to do? Nothing. But most people are going to be like, oh, if you're not, you don't have the blue badge, I can't trust you. They've already done that experiment with social media. So they're just taking it outside of social media and instituting it in other areas. But it's going to be instituted in other areas that we need, like transportation. Uh, so it says Uber said in its release, it will cross check account details such as names, phone numbers with third party databases as part of its verification process. So they already have a whole bunch of information stored up about us. They're just going to dig in that and verify whether we are who we say we are. Most rider accounts will become verified using account details with no additional action needed from riders, the company said. Riders who are not automatically verified will be able to upload identification to receive the badge Uber added. So if you live in a state that is not a part of this, you know, if they're trying to resist this new world order, they don't sell your DMV information to these people, you have to um, do this, uh, upload your stuff into this wallet, basically, because that's that's what it is. They're not telling you. But this is what you're doing. They're going to store your information for you. So it says, um, riders who are not automatically verified will be able to upload identification. The company said that, ver that the verification data will be stored. It's going to be stored. They're not going to destroy it once they verify you. They're going to keep it securely. And identification uploads will be encrypted. They're going to keep your stuff. And noted that the last names and phone numbers of riders are not shared with drivers. Uber drivers see a rider's first name, star rating, trip details, and starting today, the verified badge. So this is for people. So this is how they're going to make sure everybody, there's not going to be a way for you to not have given them the info that they want in order to ensure you can't buy or sell. And so this is what they're doing. So it says the company provided uh, images of what the new blue check mark on the account will look like. And so it's just a little blue 
thing here. So it's the account info. This is where your picture would be and verify your name and your pronoun. So anyway, so um, I decided to go over to Uber to um, see what, you know, they were talking about on their site. And as soon as this janky site, oh my gosh, so bad. Okay, so this is uber.com. So it's talking about advancing trust and safety. We're dedicated to building a platform based on trust between riders and drivers. We already had that, I already explained that to y'all. To support this, we're launching a new rider verification uh, measures designed to help everyone feel more safe and secure. Building a trusted platform together. No, we ain't. We ain't doing nothing together because we didn't even ask for this, children of the corn. Our rider verification process helps confirm that users are who they say they are. We are committed to promoting mutual accountability with the goal of making Uber a safe and trusted place to ride and drive. It was already safe. Didn't nobody ask them to enhance nothing. So it says how we verify. They basically told you that you, um, they check your stuff against third party databases that they, that, you know, these companies get your information and they sell it. So they have places that they can go to check your stuff. And they say here, third party databases. So it's plural. And if they can't find out who you are, they're going to use your government ID. That's for these illegal migrants that's coming across the border or immigrants, illegal entrants. Let me say that right. Illegal entrants that are getting everything, but they don't have no track record of being here in the system. So you get your little free government ID they gave you. Then you can just go drive for Uber. You can have Miguel or Juan or whoever driving for you. They could be a terrorist. We don't know. Anyway. Privacy is a priority. We securely store verification data and encrypt ID documents. So that's all you need to know. Your stuff being stored. You are in the beast system, whether you want to be or not. A badge that builds trust. Verified riders will receive a blue badge in, in the account section of the Uber app. This badge is shown to drivers when a verified rider requests a ride. So um, that, that was it about this particular story. But I just want you to see where... They're moving into transportation because that's something that people are going to be needing um, because the price of insurance is going up. The price of gas is going to go up. People are going to be looking for alternatives to get around and especially in these cities, which is why you need to come out of the city. But anyway, in these cities where there are large populations of people and people don't like to drive, they're going to track you. So. That's why it's going to be really important for people to become self-sufficient, try to get out of the city and, um, you know, not use these tools that are going to be used to control us. I mean, and right now, we've all been participating in this global pilot for their new world order. So, you know, I'm not telling you to stop using nothing right away, but just understand that. This is what they're doing to collect all this information so that you won't be able to buy or sell whenever they say, if you don't do this, you can not buy or sell. They're going to have everything in place. So it's not that you can be like, I'm not signing up for the mark. You already signed up for it. This, this, the, <laughs> the catch is whenever they say, if you don't participate in eco Sabbath, if you keep Sabbath, you can't do XXX thing or you're going to lose money. Or if you, you move on this day when we tell you not to move, they'll know because they have all this information about you. So, the, the, you know, everything is coming together really fast. And you see how they're rolling out all this stuff before June. I don't know what's happening in June. But I anticipate something big is coming because there's so much stuff changing in the way of this technology. So please, please, please be aware. Stay awake and make sure you are not sleeping on all these changes that are coming out. The pilots are coming out faster than you can shake a stick at, and they are really rolling them out in amongst populations of the most ignorant people in the country. Now, I unfortunately got to say it, but it's our people. Our people are so asleep, so unwilling to deal with the truth 
that they can just do anything in their communities, in our communities, and our people will go along with it. Because one, we're poor, two, we're ignorant, and three, we 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 can't really push back because every time we try to push back, they come for us harder in different ways. Um, so just understand, y'all, where we are in the big scheme of things. This is a data point. Um, not to make you fearful, just to keep you aware of what the adversary is doing in the way of um, setting up their buy sell system, which is what I call a beast infrastructure. So the beast infrastructure is steadily being laid. It's it's ready. It's it's ready. Um, so y'all should be ready. We gotta endure to the end. So knowledge is power. Um, keep learning. Keep prepping. Keep praying. Keep seeking the Most High. Keep repenting daily for your sins, sins of commission and sins of omission. Try not to be deceived. And that's 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 the whole that's my whole point of this channel is to talk about stuff because I don't want us to be deceived. So even though I may sound crazy a whole bunch of days, I'm not crazy. I just try to use my common sense and share how I think as a country black woman um, about like what's coming. Even though I'm not ignorant by any means, I just like to just um, think about this from just a common sense perspective. We are at the door and it's coming faster than I could have ever imagined. So be ready, family. You got to be ready because they're, they're going to flip the switch. When it comes back on, they're going to have all these new things in place and you're going to have to make a decision. We're all going to have to make decisions. So what you need to do is just think about these things, think them out so that when that time comes, you have all the things, all the tools that you need to do what it is that you need to do um, before this um, system is fully uh, fleshed out and rolled out among the masses. That won't happen until the chaos is over. But just understand that all these pilots are for after the chaos and they roll out their savior, their messiah, their savior, and their system. All of it's coming out at, I'm not going to say it's coming out at one time, but it's coming soon. I don't know in what order. But stuff is coming fast. So be ready. All right, y'all. This is Marley Kay, and 